Hey, what's going on everyone? One Doctor Genius here, and in this video, we're going to be starting off our new Minecraft series. A new series! So without further ado, let's click on play and let's get this started. Let's do this, loading resources, loading, and here we go, we have spawned in into our world, and it seems like we're on top of some sort of tree, so let's see if we can find- Okay, we found a hill. So now basically in order to get a good view of the world, what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to climb up this hill and once we reach the top of the hill, we shall take a look around. Oh, okay, I see sheep. Sheep is a good sign because you guys know what happens when we have sheep. We can make a bed. Beds are one of the most important things which you guys need in the early game of Minecraft. So I'm quickly going to go and slaughter these two sheep away. So now you guys may be wondering, what is the end goal of this Minecraft series? Well, the end goal is to A, defeat the Ender Dragon and the Wither, right? So now for the Ender Dragon, I'm planning on defeating it at least 22 times, right? I'm planning on defeating the Ender Dragon as many times as possible in the game. And that is a huge number, right? So that's one of my goals. Now my other goal is actually to build a castle and a palace, so that's a thing. And it seems like I just ignored that XP point. You know what? Good, good decision. Yeah, let's ignore that XP point. But now, basically, what I'm going to do is we're basically going for building a castle in a futuristic theme. So basically, we'll take inspiration from other shows which I'm watching at the time. Like right now, I'm watching Star Wars. So perhaps this survival series might be built around Star Wars or based around that. But right now, what I'm doing is I'm searching for more sheep. Oh, okay, I found a sheep. Right, so I'm searching for sheep because I need to, like, get well. Little sheep, I'm sorry for what you're about to see. <laughs> Alright, we got the sheep and... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, we just killed the sheep's mother and are like, Nope. Alright, you can live. You can live with the horror of that. So, yeah, let's just leave that sheep alive. And now that we've gotten our bowl, I think we can, like, cut down the tree. But first, we need red dye. Why do we need red dye? Because it's the law, okay? It is the law. Now let's start cutting down this tree. Alright, so what I'm thinking of right now is I'm thinking of we make up a birch house right now just for the fly of time with some glass panes. So we get a birch house, everything settled down, maybe a bed and a furnace and a chest. And hopefully we can get some coal. I'm fine with wooden tools right now, I just want a house. So yeah, I think we can get that down in 30 minutes, so let's do this quickly, right? Yeah. Five, um, we got five wood, so now let's figure out where we want to set up our house. Right, so now let me just quickly start digging out some of this dirt so I can walk up quickly. Let's just try jumping up, fail that. And let's mine this dirt block over here to make ourselves an easy access to the mountain. Now what I'm thinking is that we have a house inside of the mountain or right next to the cliff of the mountain. Now right now getting up seems to be a bit complicated. It's actually a very complicated. You know, this is starting to get extraordinarily annoying. Extraordinarily, you know what, forget this. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to make my house inside of the mountain, although I do think that I'm going to make it, like, on the front of it, like, like, at the edge of the cliff, I'm going to make the mountain, like, when when it drops at the bottom of the plateau, you know, you guys know what I mean. Either way, let's convert all of our wood into wood planks, and let's start getting our house done. So let me just quickly collect this, let's get the red dye, we have two of them, meaning we can make red wool, but right now, let's place in our crafting table somewhere where we feel like it's a good spot. You know, this over here doesn't look too bad. It's flat, so we won't have to actually build much into it. Let's just remove some of the grass over here. And yeah, it should be good to go. Now that we got this over here, let's create some wool so we can make our bed. So, boom, boom, three wool red. Wait, what? Okay, seems like we have two wool, so let me just go collect another piece of red flower. And then we will be able to make ourselves an original Minecraft bed and set our spawn points. Right, so let's just walk over over here. Let's collect that and let's head right back and yeah I think we can make the wool right over here so let's just make this add this to that and now let's close this up and head back over to our crafting station so now basically what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the crafting bench or place my bed over there right for now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mine down these birch trees because I actually don't want a house out of normal wood. I want a house out of oak wood. Now let's just break some of these leaves in order to get ourselves some seeds. And let's make our bed. Boom! Achievement unlocked! Bed created in Minecraft. Now let's place this down on the side over here, somewhere over here. You know, I, um, let's place the bed here. Nah. Wait, no, wait, what? Oh, okay. Ignore that. I was just ignoring stuff. Now let's place the bed over here and set our respawn- wait, why is the- okay, alright, now that we have set our respawn point, let's break the bed again and place it somewhere else, because that does not seem like good placement. You know, let's place it over here, 
Alright, respawn point set. Now let's quickly craft an axe and a chest quickly, so let me just break this and place down our crafting chest, our crafting table, and the bet and a chest. BAM! Crafting cave Alright, so boom and let's place down the chest over here. Boom. Now at the moment let's just put everything in and if you guys look at our health, our health is actually pretty low. So because our health is so low, I think that I might just actually like just um, eliminate my Minecraft human so I can actually like conserve food. Because right now we just got ourselves a little bit of food so we still need to save it up, right? So let's just put everything away and I will be back once I do a pro gamer move. The pro gamer move is to basically kill yourself in Minecraft. So let me just quickly be back right after that. Ooh, one heart taken. Ah uh, yes, we are at one hot remaining. Hopefully we will take hunger damage soon. Or not, I'm pretty sure that a three bot fall is enough to kiss kill. Oh yes, there we go. Our human has died and respawned, so I think it seems like we hit the ground a little bit too hard. But now that we respawned, and because we have, we can collect our axe and we can start mining down this birch tree. Mining down? No, we can start cutting down this birch tree. Now let me just quickly cut that one over there, look, let's cut the leaf on top, this one, and let's jump on top so we can reach the last few barks, the last few logs actually, that's what I mean. Right, let's jump on top and start collecting this. Ah uh, yes, one tree has been eliminated, so let's just knock this down. Alright guys, so we've collected all of the logs, now quickly what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna mine out away all of the leaves, because what we need is, we obviously need like the saplets of this tree, if we don't have the saplets, then like, what are we gonna do? We need them. We need saplets to plant more birch trees, because birch trees are unlimited number. Right, so yeah, I'll just be back after harvesting all of these saplets in a second. Alright guys, so I do remember that one um, birch sapling did fall down, so that's good. Although I haven't gotten any more, so let me see if I can mine that. I cannot, so let's just collect all of the items which we got on the ground. And let's just mine the last leaf and see if we can get anything. Nope. Alright, seems like that was a complete waste of time, but other than that, it seems like we got ourselves six birch um, logs, so let's keep the stick away. Let's put the sapling, you know what, let's keep the sapling in our inventory because we're going to plant it. But right now, let's plant the sapling somewhere over there, right? Yeah, plant sapling set. Now, let's quickly convert all of our wood into logs. Wait, no, let's convert all of our logs into planks, so that's pretty good. And I think we can start building a house around this base now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one away from the crafting table and place this four ahead. So one, two, three, four. That should be good to go. Let's just place it over here one side of a difference and let's start from over here right one two three four five wait wait okay so it seems like we did mess up our bed a bit and placed everything to the side and made a cross but let's quickly just delete that side and delete that side and let's basically put the rest of this on that side so let's add one over here and I think we should be even now right yeah we're even so let's just place this across and I think this will be our starter hut, let's like go three blocks up because I do not want to keep continuously hit my head on the wall. You guys know how annoying two block ceilings are, so let's make this like three on top, so... Um... Yeah, I think we made the height distribution even, right? Yeah, I think we did. So let me just move on to another side quickly, let's set our respawn point, it's starting to become night. So that is worrying me a bit, although it seems like we'll need two more birch logs for the door, so... Let me just build up the side corners of this house quickly. Bam, bam, bam. And let's head across. One! Yes, there we go. We've gotten one block down. And now, as you guys can see, it seems like it's becoming night. I'm getting a little bit worried. So let's just take a quick nap. Yeah. Here we go. Seems like we're being able to sleep. And... 
boom! First night completed. We have done our first night in Minecraft, and sure, we might have died, but that was on purpose. We could have survived. But now that we've completed this one night, let's quickly get back to mining our trees, right? Let's do this. Tree demolishing part has started. Right, so let's quickly just cut down this entire tree, which should be like six logs, so that's pretty nice if you guys ask me. Let's collect this, and it seems like we got two saplings, although it's not from the tree which I wanted it from. But yeah, let's collect the saplings, and let me quickly just knock down all of these trees, because saplings are important to me. The doctor wants the saplings. So let me just quickly annihilate this entire tree's leaves. Annihilation complete and it seems like we got absolutely no bird saplings so it seems like we got three bird saplings which if you guys ask me is pretty cool I mean that's nice so let's just plant these two guys down over here now I'm gonna distance these guys away because I don't want their leaves to like birch with each other so if their leaves don't touch each other then we'll have the maximum amount of leaves which we can harvest saplings from so I'm just gonna like distance these guys apart like maybe four or five blocks so that should do the trick and now let's convert basically all of our logs, all of our planks to logs, so all of our logs to planks, you guys know what I mean, right? Yeah. Now that we've converted this, I think we can build up the house now. I hope I made this an odd number or an even number so I can place the right amount of doors down, right? Yeah, so let's build up and I do think we've gotten this done, so let me just quickly count how many we have. Right, so one, two. Ah, seems like we'll have a one block door, so that's not exactly what I wanted. Although it's not too bad, so I guess that can work. Let's build ourselves a door. Why do we get three door? I only want one. One door. That's all I want. Why do I get three? I mean, what's even the need of three? Minecraft, please change this. I don't want three doors every time I make something. Like, why? Right, so now I think I'm going to leave a two block gap for our windows. So let's just quickly, like, make an, make an overhang above this. So let me just mine this with my axe quickly. Let's change back to the wood. And yeah, let's place everything else. Bam, bada bang, and let's see. One, two, three, and let's place that one on top over here. Seems like I did make some of the pillars on not at the same height, so that's pretty sad. And we ran out of more saplings, so I guess we go to mining another tree. I feel like I'm gonna wipe out this entire forest by the end I'm done making like this house or like my starter house. So yeah, now luckily we do have a huge birch forest nearby, so it won't be too hard to get birch trees. Although I do think I've annihilated a lot of trees in this forest, so let me just quickly jump on on the top side and the top over here. And let's mine out this tree. Once again, I feel like we're going to have so many tree mining time lapses for a bit. Right, yeah, let's cut down these two logs below me, and we should be able to get back to our normal stuff. Ooh, a wolf puppy. Alright, so where are its parents? Now, I can't find its parents, so that's pretty sad. And I don't think we can tame wolf puppies yet, so... Sadness noises. Ooh, seems like we dropped a block of wood, but what I want is I want to be able to, like, tame wolf puppies, because that would be pretty cool. And I don't know why I'm closing the door. That's, like, the most useless action I can be doing right now. But anyways, let's place down all of our logs quickly. So, let me just quickly do that. Yes, one, two, three! And let's just finish off this three block gap. Now, I do know this house isn't exactly symmetrical. So guys, deal with it for a while. I'm gonna fix this up. But right now, let me just quickly collect my dirt to make the roof. I don't feel like making the roof flat. So yeah, let me just quickly mine out a little bit of dirt over here. Let's do this. Two, three. I think we'll need four or five actually, right? Yeah, we, let's make a three, tile, three tall pillar. And let's just collect two wait no we'll need three more yeah we'll need three all right all right so we've collected enough dirt blocks to get to our roof let's just place this down one over here let's get up on the top and you know what i want to elevate the roof of this house up one so let's just place that over there let's switch over to our wooden planks and let's basically place the roof so now this shouldn't be too much but we've gotten our starter house made it seems nice and cozy we still need the windows so I think I'm going to work on getting glass next, so in order to get glass, we'll need to make a furnace, so I think I'll go mining after this. Meaning we'll need to annihilate, meaning we might have to annihilate one more tree before we can start getting our furnace and stuff done. 
So right now it does seem like I started to go with aesthetics first, but trust me that's not the case. Let's just mine everything down over here. Let's mine these two dirt blocks over here and let's take our dirt with us. Yes, I have an inventory full of dirt. And let's jump in over here. And yeah. Alright guys, so now that I've cleared our inventory, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly go mine out a few more birch trees before I get anything else done. Now, before I do that, I think that maybe collecting sand would be a better idea because you guys know sand makes glass. Now, do you remember that it takes us, um, six blocks of glass to make sand, so let's just quickly do this over here quickly. Aha, here we go! Seems like we've also stumbled upon some clay. So now, I do think that clay is going to be helpful to us, but right now we have 21 sand, which is not too bad if you guys ask me, so let's just swing, let's just swim back over. And it seems like I spotted some sugar cane and some sheep. So wherever there's sheep, there, that means there are more sheep, so we have unlimited food supplies already. Now, it does seem like our hunger is going down a bit, so I will have to cook food immediately soon, sooner or later. But right now, let's just go over here, let's convert all of our sand, we can't convert all of our sand, so let's just, like, collect our wood so we can make a shovel and, um, the mining, a shovel and a pickaxe, right? Yeah, let's do that quickly. Let's just do over here, shovel right over here to shovel out the dirt and the pickaxe. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to see if I can find any coal, like, on the surface of this mountain, because we are super close to that. So yeah, let's just jump off the side over here. Who needs a door when you can just jump out of the window? Now, I don't feel like making our mine too close to our house because that would be a bad idea. So let's just go over here. Seems like we found some coal. Seems like there's easy exposed stone at the bottom. So let's just mine this out from the bottom over here. Collect it, God. Da -da -da. And you know, I think I'm going to mine maybe 12 pieces of stone quickly. So yeah, let's do that. Now, I think what I'm going to do with the next pieces of stone is I'm going to create a cobblestone axe. And I really haven't talked about what the main goal of this series is. So now, our main goal, our main goal is going to be some sort of a futuristic Star Wars thing. So this entire survival series is going to be based around Star Wars. Basically, we're going to be making humongous Star Wars builds in this world. And hopefully, and once this series is over, I'm going to give you guys a world download. So you guys can also play in my world and tell me what you guys found about it. But yeah, so basically now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to reach the coal quickly and let's do that. Climbing up on the edge of the mountain we are. And now let's just delete this over here so we can collect ourselves our 8 coal vein. Yeah, I think this is a coal vein of 8 so let me just quickly collect this. And you know, Minecraft and coal has like a relationship. You guys can get like 20 big coal veins, right? Now you guys will see that sooner or later I will stumble, I will stumble upon a huge coal vein. This is all just speculations. But right now, you guys can see we're getting a lot of coal. We started off at zero and we're already at five, six, seven, eight. Learn your countings with one Doctor Genius Gaming. Eight, nine, wait, no, nine, yes. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Alright guys, if you ask me, this was a fairly decent coal vein. We got 13 coal, which isn't too bad, if you guys ask me. Let's put this up at the chest and then collect some gold, coal. Now, that cave does look interesting, so I'm going to explore there a bit, see if I can find any iron or anything like that. But right now, let's put this in our chest and start building a furnace. Furnace selected, right? So now that we've gotten ourselves a furnace, I do believe we can start mining, uh, we can start smelting glass. So because we can start smelting glass, this will be pretty cool because you guys know what I mean. We can start smelting glass. We can get glass to like act as reinforcements. But right now what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to like cook this food. I don't know how much coal it will take, so let me just split this in half to six and three. So yeah, hopefully that will be able to cook up food enough because I do not want to die of starvation now. I have XP, so yeah, that's a thing. So I think I'm going to wait here for this food to cook, so let me just quickly eat this. I don't think they need that much coal. So yeah, let me just grab this raw mutton and see how much heat, see how much food it gives us. Yum, 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 yum. Alright, eating food we are, and whoa, okay, it seems like it brings our health bar up by 3 every single time, which is pretty good if you guys ask me. So now let's eat this last one, just eat it, and then we should have like a full health bar. Now a full health bar is pretty good if you guys ask me. I think I'll let this um, 
give us the fuel for the rest of them. So I guess we're getting our last piece of steak cooked and we can just store this in the chest. Now it does seem like our coal is dying out so I'm just gonna let it like be bright for now so yeah let's just put our remaining steak in and our remaining coal in as well so we can go to sleep right after. And it does seem like we're too far away from our bed so we've gone to sleep and that was actually pretty close I mean we let the moon up. Now of course that means that monsters would have been able to spawn if we stayed any longer but luckily they have not gotten the chance. So that's pretty cool. Now let's open up this chest, collect all of our coal, put it in, and yeah, I think that's pretty much good for now, and I think we'll go back to mining for some more coal. So yeah, let's get this smelting started. I do have the glass equipped, so we need 9 for each time, and I need to remove that bush. That bush is absolutely driving me crazy, but right now let's just put all of this coal in and let's start smelting. All of our remaining coal, so hopefully one coal can smelt 3 glass blocks, so... Um, yeah, let's go start finding some more coal. Another thing which I noticed is that we also kind of do need a reliable source of food. So let me just quickly collect all of our seeds, go near the river, and just make some farmland. Huzzah! A wandering trader has summoned in. Well, you know what, I'll let the wandering trader live for now because I need to build a farmland. But we do have six seeds, so let's just quickly like farm this all up over here. And yeah, there you guys go. Six seed spots, so let's just start placing in all of our seeds. And then we will be able to get ourselves a reliable food seed source. So a, rel so a reliable seed source is actually pretty good. It will give us a reliable wheat source. Now there's a wandering trader over here, so I'm gonna serve him some mercy and he isn't gonna die yet. So yeah, let's just head back to what we were doing. Alright guys, so we're back into our building and let's check up on our glass. So it does seem like we've got an 8 glass which should be enough to like maybe shelter the house. So let's click over here, let's build ourselves some 16 glass panes. Alright, that's pretty good and yeah, let's equip our glass panes and start decorating our house immediately. One, two. Ah yes, seems like I am a professional because I have managed to waste two glass panes, so let's just quickly like cover up the floor over here so that like the entire front of the house will be like shielded from the sand. It doesn't seem like the, the glass will be able to connect, which is unfortunate, but let's just start fixing this all around. I do think we have enough to finish off this. Okay, as you guys can see, seems like we do not have enough to finish off that window, so I'll smelt the less so I'll smelt the rest of the glass we have available. And once we do that, I do believe we'll have enough to finish off the entire house, and we shall be protected from stray animals hopping straight in. So let's just close the door and wait for our glass to smelt. You know, rather than waiting for it to smelt, let's just like, um, go mining I guess. Right, so now let's do take a look at our food farm right now, it doesn't seem like we have much progress made. Although it does seem like all of the land has turned extremely fertile, so it should be able to, like, grow crops pretty soon. Alright guys, so I realized I shouldn't be sprinting literally anywhere, so right now I'm just gonna, like, do that to conserve my food. So let's fall down over here. And I do see light up over here, so I'm gonna head over here because we have light. And there is some coal, right? So let's go and start collecting this coal. Now, I think this might be a win of, like, 8 or something, so that should be good. Let's just hop up over here, and let's start mining this coal. Oh my gosh, are you guys kidding me? How much more coal will we get from this one coal vein? Right, that's actually a pretty crazy amount. Alright, let's let it, let's return back home over here. Green grasslands, let's mind us dirt and get back up. Ah yes, surface light at last. Our eyes have been relieved from the darkness of this world. And now it does seem like we're pretty close to finishing off the glass paneling of this place. So let's quickly collect all of our glass which we got from that, turn it into glass paint and basically finish off the rest of our house. Alright, we got half of a stack of glass which seems pretty nice so I think we'll be able to finish off our building with no problem over here. 
and we'll have some spare glass left. Now, what I love about two block high windows is that you don't have to like worry about misplacing. You can either place on the bottom side or wall. That's all. You can't place on like random locations. And I think that's it done. We have 15 glass left over, but now we have managed to fully enclose our house in glass, so now we are safe from zombies and monsters. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna move my crafting table and bench backwards. So I think we'll have our base filled up completely, so this should look nice. And then, yeah, now you guys might be wondering, what am I gonna do in my next video? So in our next video, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna get the floor tiles done off this place, which shouldn't take me much time. I mean, I'm gonna use some birch logs. I'm gonna use those strip birch logs, but that's all. So now let's place our bed over here. Seems like we got enough room for furnace, a crafting table, and storage. And yeah, so let's basically place everything in this chest. And yeah guys, I do believe we're done for our video. Now, one last thing which I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna take this hole out a bit and I'm basically gonna like mine up some more farmland so we can collect some more seeds and basically plant it in. Alright guys, I do think that with these seeds collected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly sleep and once I do that, basically, I think this is nearing the end of our video. This video is like 20 or 30 minutes long, so it's a bit, it's one of the longer videos on my channel. But either way, I hope you guys found this video sort of entertaining and if you guys enjoyed this Minecraft series and want to see what's gonna be in the future of this, well, I'd recommend you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss out and give this video a like and it will help other people find out this video so you and your friends can enjoy this. But anyways guys, this is what we managed to accomplish and basically we managed to accomplish glass and some material inside. Now of course we could have gotten ourselves armor and stuff but nah, you know I feel like this is much better. Let's just destroy this grass over here and we got a seed. Of course we did. And I'll be seeing you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time. Oh, well I guess I'm literally out of the house. Well, bye and have a good time.